we heard uh, when we were at the show a couple of years ago that all a lot of snow contractors, property managers and stuff were having trouble finding reliable labor, uh, especially to do their sidewalk work. So um, we've been in the kind of competitive robotic space as a group, founding group for a long time now and uh, we thought robots would be a perfect application for the sidewalk snow clearing business. Um, we purpose built the machine for sidewalk width, um, you know, anywhere up to, you know, six, eight foot wide sidewalks, you can multi-pass them. We use primarily a broom attachment, helps you get right down to pavement, uh, apply less de-icing chemical, which we also have solid and liquid de-icers available. Um, it does on-the-fly obstacle detection, looking for uh, both animate and inanimate obstacles. Uh, if it sees an obstacle, it'll pause, take a photo, alert, whoever's responsible for it and like the robot operations center. Um, it's also doing live job logging, taking before and after photos, geo stamping them, time stamping them, and then cryptographically signing them so they're admissible in court as evidence if you have a slip and fall claim or um, some sort of labor dispute. Um, the snowbot has proof that it's done the work. The robot navigates using uh, relative GPS, so there's a GPS unit on the machine. There's also a base station unit that needs to be um, in a fixed location within 20 miles of whatever site you're clearing. In the off season, you record the path that you want to clear during the snow season with a path recording tool. Um, that's basically taking the GPS waypoints of the path uploading them into the data center where you can then edit the path, tell the robot which direction you want to clear the, to eject the snow, um, if you want to apply the icer or not, and you can have a number of different configurations for each path. So you can do de-icing only runs, you can do clearing only runs, or you could do both. Um, once you uh, get, an, once an event starts, you can tell the robot um, to go ahead and remotely start itself up, warm up, and then which paths you want it to execute. So if you want to execute um, a de-icing only path to start and then park again until the snow actually starts falling, you can do that uh, all remotely. Uh, you can leave the robots on site, outside, and it will uh, be ready to go when you tell it to start.